you know, it's that year again where Halloween is just around the corner. It's just one day from now uh, where I live. And in honor of that, I am wearing a special Mario hat in honor of it. While also playing a Halloween related game, Lumber Tycoon 2. So, in the month of October, it's spooky season and in Lumber Tycoon, we get to see a lot of spooky trees, a lot of spooky stuff, a lot of spooky everything. You're probably questioning, like, Eden, why the hell are you wearing a Mario hat? You look like a douchebag or something. Well, the reason why is because I want to try to, like, look fit and look nice for all the traditional holidays. So, for a Halloween, for example, I'm going to wear some OG Halloween costume I used to wear. And for Christmas, I'm going to wear a Santa hat, which I actually have right here. I never put it in the box. See? Uh, let me make sure it's showing. Yeah, see? Once I get that cleaned, I'll be wearing that. The problem though is that now I have to wear these head uh, earbuds, so it makes the audio sound a bit different, but nothing, I don't think it'll affect my mic. But it doesn't matter, so. I also woke up about like an hour or something ago. No, not even, like 45 minutes ago. But anyways, and Lumber Tycoon, so I've been doing some work on my base lately and doing a lot of revamps. But because of spooky season, uh, you know, it's that time we go and find some spook and sinister wood. And lucky for you guys, I've been really just getting a lot of spook wood lately. My friend has been helping me. We've been looking for it for a long time. Server hopping, all that stuff in the most ridiculous areas. And then we found lots of spook wood. So this is just my spook wood uh, storage right now. So it's not much here, but there's a couple more pieces outside, like right here. Now this wood is very rare to spawn in, and in a 1 in 100 chance after like 100 spook wood trees, a sinister tree could spawn. Or it could spawn within the 1 in 100 chance. It could spawn maybe as the very first rare tree in the server, who knows. But other than that, spook wood and sinister is very rare, but spook wood tends to uh, come in more often. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this probably, I mean... If it's rare, first of all, then obviously the best thing to do is just keep it in the storage, try not to waste it, and only use it if absolutely necessary. I don't know if you can get this wood after Halloween. I mean, I know like, Halloween it's the best time to try finding spook wood, but I have no idea. Alright, well yeah, that's, that's the spook wood. Now, this right here is sinister wood. Now, this is modded. Don't ask how I got it modded because there are some secrets that can never be revealed. And what, and what if I told you that I knew a guy who knew a guy who knew a guy who knew a guy who knew a guy that could make some modded spook with a uh, sinister. So yeah, that's pretty interesting cool stuff right there. And other than the fact that my base looks pretty hot and I have a lot of work on it, like it's so messy right now and I have to clean it all. I could hire some people to clean it, but I don't trust people so therefore no. Except for only a couple of my best friends, so... Mainly my true friends, which you'll probably know if you see my Discord status, I have true friends. The only people do I think might care about me, but it could always update. Maybe I have a lot of other friends that I just don't know about. But yeah, here's my base, so it's pretty messy, so I don't remember if I ever showcased a video about it. But I'm just gonna go over it again, so... Storage room for where I'll keep my shit at. I don't really stock up on these shelves. They're just for probably decoration. All the stuff is in here with like presents, work lights, axes, presents, wires, bold and brash, you know? That's Squidward painting from that one SpongeBob episode. Um, I feel like I did a good job on it after a couple of redesigning stuff. It looks pretty cool. Over here is my sawmill system, so it's kind of a mess. I have to probably have to redesign it. So how it works is that there is an entrance right out here these doors, so you put the wood in. And over here I removed this couple of walls so I can set the uh, plank value. So normally I would set it by a one by one, so that way it would be like a, a tiny block. So like for example, it would be like something like this. Because with the power of ease, you can build with one piece of wood, or one one just by one block one one by one basically so you know oh, so you know how some pieces of wood right for example they call us like nine wood yeah it would, it's only going to acquire one piece of wood and yeah i hope that then it bleeds your ears 
So yeah, when the wood goes through the sawmill, it will go this way, you know, come up here. It will it will stop by this uh conveyor right here, and then this is when I activate the lever for my sawmill. Oh. Turn it off. So I only enable the chop saw when the planks are one by one. Because then the chop saw can just automatically chop them for me. It might not always be accurate, but most of the time it, it will be. And therefore, I can just also take all the other small pieces. It just makes it so I don't I don't have to chop them all. All right, and then when I do have them at normal length, I just I just move to conveyor like this. If you don't have if there's no conveyor right there and you have it like this, then the wood will just go by down. So then you can just press B afterwards, and then boom, it'll be all gone. And then there's a little lever right here. So when I switch it this way, wood will probably go up here. This is probably for like main building stuff. Like whenever I want to design this room, all wood that needs to be used will go up here. And all right, great, I'm stuck. But if no wood is important, doesn't deserve to go up there, then most of the time this would just be going straight. Same with this. So if it's open like this, this is just the main wood I need for like sorting and building. But if not, then they will just go to this bucket wood sweeper over here, aka the small wood of planks or storage of tiny units pretty much. And I pretty much did a really good job on it. Oh, everything is looking great. Yes, it is. Nice. Now, here's just my wood storage, as I've seen. So, all the wood that gets stored. It's not certain if it will be used or it will just be messed up. And now I'm just going to throw all the wood in here. But yeah, it's all sorted in order. So, we got oak, elm, walnut, spook, zombie, fir wood, cave crawler wood, and times. <sighs> I think that's palm wood. Wait, and ice wood, sinister wood, birch wood, spook wood again. Why do I have two spook categories? All right, well, I guess one of these trees have to go. Uh, lava and gold. I feel like I'm missing a slot. Probably for co wood. All right, well, I, I'm gonna probably have to move this and just make a tile for co wood. Whenever I go across the ferry, I'll get some co wood. All right, and then we'll just move this bad boy over here. Yeah, like that, because it won't really fit. These blocks are way too huge. All right, and over here is my garage area. That's a pole for like a flag I could build. The build, the base is kind of messy and a, a bunch of things messed up, so I have to rework it a lot. But yeah, minor garage. Look at all these pumpkins. I actually forgot. I have to go to Bob Shack and just buy a whole lot of them. Because I'm pretty rich in this game. There's this my house. It's pretty dark to see because there's no lighting, but it's fine. You can sit on this couch, watch the blue screen of death. The only best popular TV show around. Alright, kitchen, rug, you can barely see. My bird, Zeus. It's my turkey, pretty much. And my bed. Toilet. <laughs> I wish I had a golden toilet. And, of course, everyone's favorite, Scoop. Scoob. Hey, Scoobus. Go Scoob. Scoob. Hey, look how big this thing is. Holy moly. Alright, yeah, that's my house. Uh, a bunch of doors. This is my Plinko board. I recently also revamped it so it's a little bit more uh, fair. And a little bit more better. So. When you open it, yeah, you can go inside and... Out of all the prizes, you could win either a box end times axe, many axe, or a beta alpha axe. So that's pretty cool. I feel like I'm going to do some lumber tycoon just for these three days because of Halloween. But I'm also going to squeeze in Five Nights at Freddy's. I know I recently got a comment saying that someone wanted me to get scared. So hey, it's just how the boss plays, okay? I might or may not get scared, but I can't be certain. If I do pass all the nights without getting scared, I'll probably get scared probably around night 7, so it will probably be a while. Alright, anyways, with that done, now we can go to our shop. So it's closed right now, it's always closed because, yeah, you will you can tell if it's open or closed based off the lighting. So if it's uh, red, it's closed. If this is green, it's open. That means I'm active and I'll only be waiting there for like 5-10 minutes if anyone wants to buy some stuff. I still have to restock. 
And then upstairs, the axe part of the shop, axe shop, you know, all that cool stuff. I have to readjust some of these prices. And this will be for cars. From all the cars at that shop and that shop, half the price. Limited shop, where these items are only for TK. So you're basically like, this is 50% off, basically. So you could buy this one for 4K. Or you could buy this one for 2k. Well, this is only one in stock, so I change it every so often. But no one comes to buy my stuff anyway, but it's kind of sad. Open this fat door and then you just come outside and just see some random sawmill. I have so many sawmills and I just keep buying more sawmills <laughs> because I'm pretty rich. And that's pretty much it. And then I have all my beautiful boxes of stuff. So the chief for this box is actually a box 10 times X. And the N times X can't be attained. But it can only be attained on Halloween. So it's basically the same method as getting the Rikari Axe or Shark Axe, however you want to call it. I call it the Rikari. Uh, it's just like that, but only on Halloween day. If you do it, you'll get the End Times Axe. And tomorrow's Halloween, so if you're looking to get the Rikari uh, or End Times Axe, now's your time. Of course, you can always buy them from me because I'm always in stock of these types of stuff. But, you know, you do what you want. It's a lot of money for sandbags anyway. Light bulbs and worms. Uh, hold on, what else? And eight. Okay, and that's pretty much it. But anyway, I think this is a very really decent good video. Just revealing Lumber Tycoon back again, my OG nice base. I had so many other good bases before. I had an archway base. I had some awesome house base. The house base got overrated. Um, the archway, I kind of just deleted it myself because i kind of quit this game but then i got back at it and now this is my new slot the house base was so good but i accidentally overrated it and i tried to i almost gained access back to it but i was trying to get access to it but it gave access to the wrong base so therefore i've lost it unless there's a way i can appeal it again i don't know but i kind of want to keep the archway as well sled pink trailer pink car yeah there's some awesome historic museum stuff okay boys so yeah mario has to go now and get this video up i'm gonna go back to sleep because some intellectual in this house had to just wake me up from my uh snooze after zoom but yeah if you guys want to try out this game it's called lumber Tekken 2 it should be really easy to find if not and you still can't find it then i'll leave a link it's kind of hard at the beginning so yeah you just it'll take some time for you to get good i mean how i got my money it's undefined maybe i got a lot of good donations from people who knows because i'm cool or something other than that yeah if i can make more videos about this game and guess what i am or today tomorrow and november 1st are gonna be pure lumber taken all right see you